YouTube. It's about time to light this uh old burner right here or whatnot. And uh we'll go from there and then we're just gonna put the grease on and let it come up the temp. About 325, 350-ish or whatnot. Safety is everything, man. So you ask me what this is. Yeah, I see one of my previous videos, you get these at Home Depot. It's a propane cartridge really that goes into a little trigger. Uh pretty simple. I'll show you how it works real quick. Simply opening up uh your valve until you hear gas coming out of it. I twist my knob. All of a sudden I got a flame. Just that easy. Keep me from uh keep me from having to let me get a little closer. Yeah, but it'll keep me from having to uh stick a lighter down there and worry about my hand or skit or the uh the hair on my knuckles uh get burnt off or whatever. But uh we'll be back when it's time to drop this turkey man. All I'm gonna do is just put the grease on top of it in about three minutes. Uh make sure this get good and hot. Uh got it on the level surface, that's key. Uh Making sure you got enough fuel because you don't want to run out unless you got an extra tank that you can swap over because you don't want to mess around with food uh, uh, getting cold or cooling down while you're trying to uh, swap out a tank and stuff. So I just uh, make sure I have a couple tanks on hand, one full so I use it. Uh, or you put a gauge on your, on your hose and nozzle. I'll show you that in another video, uh, something I bought the other day. But anyway, we'll be back, man. It's time to drop this bird. Holla at you. What's up, YouTube? We back. Got my handy dandy. Cajun injector Creole butter, simple, comes with an injector, uh, and like I said, I already took the, uh, the little pre-packaged lid off of it or whatnot, shook it up. This is about a 12-pound turkey. Simple injection, man. You just want to inject all of the, uh, the cavity, make sure it's uh, full of uh, injection, and now this one, you're going to fill it all the way up. You want to make sure you get every item in there. Wing, thigh, the drumstick, which is the best part to me, especially when it's crispy. And fill it up, man. You're just going to pump it up. You try your best to use the same hole on this one, right? Because when you inject something, you definitely want to uh, cook within an hour or two of injecting it. Now, if I was brining or something, I would go back with the same... Uh, the same, you know, I would let it sit for 24 hours or whatever. But filling this joke up, man. And that's it. Pretty much how you do it. Uh, I'll see you outside. We'll get ready to drop this bird. Peace. Hey, YouTube. We're back. About to drop this turkey in. What you want to do? Slow. Right, because it's a cold bird. Well, it's fully uh, engulfed in the, uh, the oil. So what will happen is the tip will go down, obviously because the bird is cold. And then uh, you just have to maintain, uh, keep an eye on your fuel gauge to make sure the fuel gauge, your uh, tip gauge, to make sure uh, it comes back up to 350. That's your cooking range. Three and a half minutes, three and a half to four minutes per pound. That's how we cook a burger. We'll be back once it's done. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Mr. B. Not rocking the apron because I'm frying and I don't want to get my apron over there on no grease. Plus, I don't want the grease to flap on me and burn me because I got the apron sticking over there. But anyway, let me show you how this turkey looking. Show you not only can I smoke. Look at that tip. Get close up. I don't know too many people that can keep it, keep it at 350, like your boy. But anyway, just an update. Turkey going in. Actually, let me show you real quick how this thing looking. It's got about 20 more minutes on it. Anyway, I'll let you pour. We'll be 
bird off. Yeah, go with the brown. Hey, don't hate. Don't hate. Just send me the address and I'll send you one. <laughs> Live on the way. And just for giggles, I'm going to drop this in there. Yeah. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all.